Wisdom is costly. Consider Ecclesiastes chapter 7. We find in the first portion, verses 1 through 7, that sobriety is better than levity. And what does that mean? It means that it is a far better affair to sometimes forego the laughter and the ruckus and the, and the joyousness that's available to be found in life for sobriety, for a serious mind. Uh, those who would know God and, and live out his will are going to often have to forsake some of the lighter aspects of living in order to do so with any measure of success or honoring to God. Now, what about verses 8 through 10? Caution is better than rashness. But to be cautious means you pay the price for the satisfaction that can come in rushing in, in being on the offensive, and being aggressive. No, wisdom insists that caution is better than rashness. And what about verses 11 and 12? Wisdom is better than folly. You know, sometimes the only entertainment that a person can find in this life, and it is good to have a sense of humor. Sometimes the only entertainment we can find is to laugh at ourselves and at circumstances and others. However, Koholeth, the writer, the teacher, Solomon, is telling us that wisdom is better than folly. And finally, in verses 13 through 14, resignation is better than indignation. Now, what does that mean? It is better to accept what is. You know, that's probably the anchor of wisdom is acceptance, acquiescence to the divine will of God. Acceptance of what is rather than insistence that it must be different or it must conform to my perception of the differences that ought to exist in it. Resignation is better than indignation. If I give in and I accept the will of God, even in the most dire and difficult of circumstances, it's going to lead to a much wiser, more wise way of living, whereas insisting that it ought to be, could be, must be different, will eventually lead to my being indignant or indifferent or bitter. Wisdom is a true and proper way in the world, but it must be sought after, chosen, and it always comes at a cost. We pay a price to endeavor to learn it, and then when we possess it, it is costly to live in the wise way. We always must give something up to gain the fruit of wisdom. Listen to what the Bible says here, Ecclesiastes, again, chapter 7 and now verse 24. Wisdom is always distant and difficult to find. Wisdom will not be found by those accidentally just sort of meandering along the path very rarely is a nugget of gold observed in the stream by someone simply passing by, looking at the flowers. More often, it is the one who is digging, laboring, who finds the pearl of great price, as Jesus refers to the kingdom, who finds the gold. You and I, if we would have wisdom, we must pay the price to get it. And once found, we must be steadfast in paying the price that it takes to possess it. Hey, God bless you today. Make yours a journey of wisdom, and that wisdom coming from the Word of God, or in this case, the Word of God is found on a Kindle. God bless you today. Amen.